Hi and welcome to a special online article here uh, to support part three of my series Through the S-Hole, an introduction to S, existential simplicity inspired by Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman. So this is inflation theory debunked. Inflation theory versus uh, simple explosion dynamics. Now, what we're talking about here is this, this gentleman, Edwin Hubble, he uh, looked through his very powerful telescope and was the first to see that little things that we thought of were stars are actually galaxies. And uh, what he discovered shortly after that is that the universe is expanding. Oh, I can't see. There it goes. It's trying to focus on it. So, this led to something called inflation theory. And inflation theory is kind of like this. There's these series of balloons here with various dots on them. And, and if you see if the space is expanding, the areas that are stuck onto the dots are all going away from each other. So that's the theory. Uh, proving it is very difficult. And I'm not sure if they have. <clears throat> They're trying to weave it into the formulas. Uh, but it's proving to be a kind of a pain in the butt. And there's a much simpler solution if we look at explosion dynamics. And here we have a nice little atomic bomb explosion. And uh, what you see is, is that a lot of energy is coming out first, and then some energy is lagging behind. And this is going to become more obvious when the blast wave hits us. Uh, let's see here. Here comes the blast wave. Boom. And we're inside the blast wave. So some energy hit us and some energy didn't. That's because in an explosion, things will tend to move out from the center, but at different rates. The stuff first to come out comes out at the fastest rate, and the stuff following it comes out a little slower. So to give you an example of what I'm talking about with that, we're going to go to um, this little program here. And here's a big bang in the center, and we have three dots moving outside of it. And then here they are at a different time. So as you could see, these dots coming out of the Big Bang at different angles are getting farther apart. So uh, that's the 3D view of what's going on, but let's, let's break it down. That's probably pretty obvious, right? What's happening to the particles behind these guys and in front of these guys? Why are they looking like they're moving apart too? Obviously everything is moving apart in a 3D space, but why are the things behind and in front of these things also moving apart. Well, that's because of this. Here's a little sample I've put together. My computer does that, sorry. Um, here's a 2D cross-section of that 3D world. Thanks for the 3D world PC. Thank you. Out of here. And we see the three particles moving apart at the different rates. So if you were to take the point of view of this green particle here, it may not be entirely obvious, but to him, see space between the two is looking like it's moving apart. Now, to make that absolutely clear, this is a 2D view of two different angles coming from the 3D view. We're going to go to the 1D view. And we're going to look at it from the green dot's point of view. So this is what the green dot is seeing. The particles behind and in front of it are moving apart. So let's say we're Earth. This green dot or our solar system, our galaxy. It looks like the other galaxies, although the real 
story is this. It looks like everything, even in front and behind us, is moving apart. So that's just pretty simple explosion dynamics. And you can then work your way back to the 2D scene where this is happening. And imagine this back in the 3D space. So all the points even behind and in front of these guys are moving apart while they're all simultaneously moving apart from each other. And that effect is, it appears that everything is moving apart from one another in this big bang kind of explosion like this. The universe is not expanding space between us is not expanding it's just an explosion simple explosion dynamics so there isn't uh, a need for inflation theory and I hope this presentation explains why I'm showing you here again in three dimensions a quick breakdown in two dimensions and my computer's wigging out. So I'll just end with that. I think you get the gist. And here is, again, Earth's point of view, or a galaxy. Everything is spreading apart in all the different directions. And I have one last thing to close with. All the galaxies are uh, moving apart from each other. Let's do a quick Google search here on our neighbor galaxy, Andromeda, which I've seen through a telescope, and it's absolutely beautiful if you spell it right. Andromeda here. See, we have a problem with Andromeda because we're on a collision course with it. And this came from uh, Morgan Freeman hosting through the wormhole. Thank you AT&T for the slow internet connection. It's wonderful for presentations. Anyway, I was going to find it uh, for you online. It doesn't look like it's cooperating, but uh, yes, our neighbor galaxy is headed towards us, or you could say we're headed towards it. So it's false that all the galaxies are moving away from each other. We're headed towards it. Here's a nice picture of the guy here. Let's see. I could see, and you see it just like that through a telescope. It's really beautiful. It's not a star. It's a whole other galaxy. And space isn't inflating because we're on a collision course with it and due to hit in two billion years. And that's from the series Through the Wormhole. So this is my article, Through the Asshole, to give you a better idea of what's really going on in uh, science and what kind of messes they might be getting themselves into with uh, baseless theories that there's actually nothing to support inflation and has been difficult to prove because it doesn't exist. Thank you.